Welcome back to TK Tennis. Today we're talking about what to look for in a tennis instructor. And when I say tennis instructor, I mean a tennis teaching professional who predominantly is going to work on your stroke development and your shot making ability. And this video is really geared to those people who are a little bit more committed to doing so. It doesn't matter your age, but you need to have a certain level of commitment to tennis in order to improve. Tennis is a very difficult, physical, can be frustrating, but it also is a very rewarding sport. And if you're just a very casual player, this video may not be for you. But if you have a certain level of commitment to the game and you're able to play enough, this video is certainly for you. Let's talk about the prerequisites in looking for an instructor. Number one, you want a good motivator and has a good attitude. You want someone who's a clear communicator. You want someone, of course, with the experience and qualifications to be able to teach tennis at whatever level you're at. They should have a passion for teaching, of course. And most importantly on the prerequisites is they need to understand your tennis objectives. Where are you trying to get to? Are you trying to play tournaments? Are you trying to play doubles, singles? Are you just trying to get better for a particular reason to play with your friends or look to get up to that next level in tennis? And by the way, if you find this video helpful, please take a moment because I know we all forget to please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, please ask them in the comments below. Now let's talk about the three things that matter most when it comes to choosing a tennis instructor. You want an instructor that keeps things simple, number one. Um, you want to avoid information overload. So when you go to a lesson, you're not looking for 20 tips and to work on 20 different things. Keep things really simple. One or two or three things and you work on those things throughout that hour and maybe throughout that week or that month. Tennis doesn't progress very quickly. Two, on the same vein, is that tennis instructor needs to focus on what matters the most. And that is the core fundamentals of tennis strokes. There are so many nuances of a tennis stroke that you can get carried away and get focused on the things that don't matter so much. One example might be like teaching the modern forehand and keeping your elbow up and things of that nature. Those are the things that I talk about as inactive stroke development. I want people to focus on the core fundamentals about actually hitting the ball, sort of the active phase of hitting the ball. So from, from early preparation through the contact zone, hitting out in front and the follow through, sort of the active hitting stage. If you happen to get someone who's talking a lot, like move your wrist this way, put your elbow up too high, you can get really carried away. It's not to say those things are necessarily wrong, but everyone has a sort of natural stroke. And you want to see an instructor that doesn't teach the same way for every person. You want someone that sees your strokes for what they are and is be able to evolve those strokes and make them better and not introduce these very highly technical parts of stroke development. Have someone that really focuses on the core fundamentals. And the third thing is and probably the failure that I see the most with many tennis instructors is that they don't have you hit enough balls. You want an instructor that has you hit a ton of balls. The simple fact is tennis is a sport of high repetition, muscle memory, and forming habits. If you find yourself in an hour lesson and you're talking for a half hour and you're talking about a lot of different things, that is a recipe for you to take much longer to improve. I want to see a tennis instructor that's feeding you a lot of balls and giving you reinforcement over one or two or three things over and over and over. And it's really important for you to understand as a student is that when you're learning something new, you're not going to actually improve at that moment. And that's the thing that's very frustrating. You may try something and you may fail and you think that doesn't work for me. That's not necessarily true. It just means you haven't formed the habit. You haven't done enough repetition. So when you're learning strokes and hitting a ton of balls, you may feel like you're not getting better or something doesn't work for you but you have to continue to do it to form that habit. It's then and only then will you actually improve your strokes. If you're looking for a cheat code, something to skip ahead of the line to get better quickly, that doesn't exist in tennis. You need repetition. So that third thing of what matters most, hitting a ton of balls, is for me the most important aspect when you're looking for a tennis instructor and you're committed to playing this game is you need to hit hundreds and thousands of balls over and over. I cannot stress enough how important it is to, for you to have that repetition, to develop your muscles and the muscle memory, and to develop those habits. 
if you don't have enough repetition, it will just take you longer to develop those habits that are so important to hitting a tennis ball properly. If you have an instructor that's missing any one of those three things that matter most, you either need to talk to that instructor about incorporating that or find an instructor that's better. I hope that's helpful and you came away with a little extra knowledge on what I think you need to look for in a tennis instructor if you're a fairly committed tennis player who's seeking to improve at this game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe.